<laughs> I don't know if this is helping your case. I'm going to be honest You're with you, dog. to a cry. <laughs> I'm saying I did do it, like... Do what? Said, do what? Like, do what did you do? Didn't. She got that one comment in. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, that's all take to I'll dab you up for that. Go. <laughs> oh, wait, what happened? Why intern? He's the intern. Because it was it was when I was here, like one time just watching, and they were like, You want to do one? And so <clears throat> I was just here, and then they were like, You, you were being cucked at a hangout. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dude, come hang out with us. You can't talk. <laughs> I know. Welcome back to Kit Talk the Class. We got some special guests today. We got Gus from the Chicken Machine Band. Ooh. Ooh. Check okay. us out. Yeah, yeah. All on music all platforms. streaming platforms. Ooh. Is that why you want to be on the podcast? That's why I wanted to be. A, I'm going to leave. I got to go in like five minutes. I'm Kat. On this, on the soon to be next album of the Chicken Machine. Mm. Anyways, thank you so much for being Yo. our guest this episode. So excited to have you all. <laughs> As you all may already know, uh, we have your co host, Riley. What's up? And we got James. We got myself, Cameron. And then we got behind the camera, Intern. Yeah. Intern. Yes, sir. Intern, show them that you're really here. There it is. Wait, I don't think it was fine, though. Intern, uh. you getting paid? Hey, yo. Well, Welcome back. <laughs> this is why Wait, we I need like... ad revenue. Please sponsor us. Please. Everything could Uh-oh. be gone with a click of a button. Yeah, make sure you follow us on all of our socials. It. We're on uh, Spotify, Apple Music. No, Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, yeah. Uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Follow us on all those for updates. It's been a it's been a month or something since we did our, our last episode. And I, I really missed you guys. I missed you, you two, too. But... James, I saw something that really made me think of you. Um, you ever watch The Proud Family? No, actually. Really? That's on the, yeah, I've seen like clips, but I was, um, that was like 90s kids. I was, I was the next game, next generation. Well, I saw this and I just, I had to think of you. You ever seen this? I thought like this would be terrible. <laughs> this can't be okay. James always got the hockey sticks out. Oh my, oh my god. god. Why did they have the grippers Wait, on this even... going. That's crazy. Wait, we're not even like five minutes in and we're hey, making fun of James. Though. Wait. You bad. Crazy, right? <laughs> Wait, seems... what is that weird person in the middle? Like, uh, huh? James. There's like James and then there's. Like... Oh, that's his hand. Okay. I thought that yeah. was some like weird white dude. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. It made sense. And we're you back. Get it. But anyways, yeah, I just had to get that out. You'd be like, "Where'd you? Uh, where'd you okay. see that?" I don't know. Were you watching Proud Family? No, it's a good show. I actually, I've been watching it recently because I missed it, but I came in like now. That and um, actually, I need to get Disney Plus. I have it. What's the login? Right. Drop it right now. Okay. Will you put in the bleeping sound? No. <laughs> it's for the game. We no. love our fans. When I was in London, I checked out a book from like the local library in the school. And it was, uh, I can't remember the name of the book. But anyways, so I checked out the book. I kept it the whole semester. I read like five pages of it. It was just The Great Gatsby. That's what it was. It was so unreadable for me. I could not do it. And I got an email like right before I was about to leave and it was like, hey, you were supposed to return this book like four weeks ago. Back and you owe, yeah. And you owe us like $200. Hmm. I know. And like not 200 US, it was 200 pounds, which is like $275 yeah, for that book. Wow. And so I was like, bro, I'm so sorry. This email went to my spam. Like I... I'm like, I did not get this email. So can I just return the book and just wipe the slate clean? And they were like, oh, yeah, that happens all the time. Like, it's OK. So, yeah, then I was just going to have to leave the country. Without $200 paying. for that tiny book that yeah. you only got because you didn't read it for class in high school. Yeah. Did you not read it in high school? No. Wait. You spark what? notes it? <laughs> I know. Uh, wait, it, wait, what what class was yeah. that for? English. <laughs> What else? Which one? Were you just tapped out? Like a lot of Swear to God, off. they didn't have us read it. Yeah, we had to read it. We watched it too. And that's why she graduated like late. Eight- what y'all don't see, I had to fold my legs like a butterfly, bro. I had to be like, like this and like fold them flat. Either way, subscribe for only friends to see my hockey stuff. <laughs> Thanks, oh my James. God. The life of a podcaster is so hard. Crazy. So you know, hard. I sit in the bed, <laughs> relaxing in big loads. You know, while we were gone too, 
uh, I saw another thing that made me think of you guys. Um, of us? It, yeah, not you two specifically. It'd work yeah. a little better if the Dannys were here. But I thought this Sorry was... Sorry about that. This was relevant. The English schoolboy Teddy Cottle is a legend and an activist. He's launched a petition calling on Apple to make big Look. changes to the nerd emoji. Did you guys feel Teddy this? I feel like you would. It gives the real like, impression of people who wear glasses. I can kind of see it. They, tell me he don't got the same glasses as James, too. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. This kid would have a case if he didn't look exactly like the emoji. Yeah. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I missed you guys. What can I say? Do you agree with this? Do you think they should change it? Do you feel hurt? So, you see this stuff on the internet and it just reminds you of us. Huh? Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you, this is like, on your downtime, this is what you do. Me and James was were talking about this, like, um, tongue twister that we grew up on, mm. but apparently we heard it differently growing yeah. up. So, oh. have you guys heard it as Sally <laughs> sells oh, seashells by down by the seashore? Or wait, what was it? Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Did okay. you do it faster? No. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever James says. Or the one I heard was Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So I heard that one. Just like a two-word difference. Wait, can you say yours again? Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. And, and then I said Sally sells seashells by the seashore. So yeah, we were talking about we're like it's kind of like the Bernstein situation. We need like Bernstein, Bernstein, where because I never heard of that one, but apparently he's like, he never heard of mine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm like, like, why are you missing the two words? Yeah, I, said, I already started Wait, with Sally, there's... Sally Fell Seashells by the Seashore. The he's... rare James lyrical dub here. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. so you're with them. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah. I think James is right. Let me get a big... I'm with James. Oh, not right. Yeah. That's just how y'all learn. I don't it. think there's Putting... no down. Putting down in it makes it easier. That's what I'm saying. It kind of gets rid of the, like, is it phonetic? Like, the, like, the reason yeah. why you're doing it. Because, like, it's too many words. Try to say it without the down. Maybe that's the key. I I didn't think I had a problem saying it, but well, I'll it just say it. like faster. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. That's too easy. But when I was saying it earlier, James thought I was singing because yeah, that was like amazing. Like, like, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Oh, I'm like rapping at that point. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want to hear another one? Sure. Have you heard Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? Not that like that. I don't think. <laughs> Real. <laughs> Riveting content. Riveting content here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I have heard of that. <laughs> I saw we got a hate comment on TikTok. Oh my god. That's uh, exciting. Yeah, oh I know. I was showing it. I was like, look, we got our first hate comment. Wait, what did it say? Y'all really made it. Yeah, it was like, oh I'll great, another podcast with a friend group or something like that because yeah. we totally needed that. Wow, another friend group who totally needed a podcast. Dude, put the comment right here. And I, I responded, I said it. Wow, we got hate comments now? Mama, we made it. And he said, just keep your cuddle parties private next time, okay? I'm pissed. Not only because exactly. he kind of cooked us a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> he kind of yeah, cooked us a little bit. I read that in the morning. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was so pissed off. You don't even know. There yeah, was a burning you, rage. You really yeah, you I tracked down type. his Instagram. He went I ain't going to lie. Damn. I found it. What is that? Say that. You won't. What is his name? Drop his name right now. Damn. Oh. We're finding you. Oh. He lives in... I'm a, I'm a viewer too. <laughs> yeah, you Whoa, type, what's remove, the bottom? <laughs> you type that remove bottom my meat from your throat, please. <laughs> you left that out. Yeah, that's yeah. one second ago. <laughs> oh yeah. What's the most yeah. inconvenient thing about being left handed? Writing. Writing 100%. is big. Oh, when, interesting. When I was in high school, it was writing. Why you for sure. ink on your yeah, hand? because Yikes. you write and then immediately drag your hand through the through the pencil lead. So yeah. left handers also like the way you guys write is strange. Just you kind of like curve your, <laughs> your hand. The right is strange. Okay, so like the writing thing, would it be better if our language was like writing from right to left? Yeah, I it think. used to be like that. Arabic is like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. most, most like ancient languages are right to left. Mm. Um, but then also like I can't write on a whiteboard. It's impossible to write on a whiteboard. I'm gonna have the worst handwriting because I have to write like vertically. You basically. write and then wipe it away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Okay. The infinite glitch. Or so, what about that whiteboard right there? I gotta <laughs> write with my hand up there. It's evil. A lot of it is like just stuff you have to think about, like where you're sitting at a dinner table. Like, there's really only two good places to sit at a dinner table, and that's the left corner of whatever side of the table you're sitting on. So that you're not elbowing. So you're not there. elbowing stuff. Hey, you know, you guys get like a. You guys can apply for a scholarship. For left handed. I did. Did you get it? Nope. I bet another. Did they ask for proof did. that you were left handed? They did not. Like, 
You don't have to take a video of yourself riding. Yeah. Wow. That'd be slick. Wait, really? There's a left-handed scholarship. But you have to prove it? No, <laughs> no you didn't. Oh, okay. But they should. That yeah, would be they fire. Should. That'd be cool. Like, the most creative way to prove it, like, you need to think about that. Like, what would you do to prove that you're a left-hander? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. I... <laughs> show us your show my task. muscular differences in, <laughs> yeah. in the arm. I don't like the way yeah. you looked at Riley. Please. Okay, so moving on. Show that you're Forget I asked that. <laughs> That's probably why you didn't win the scholarship. There's a bunch of fake right-handers applying for it, too. Yeah, like that one girl that <laughs> applied for the Hispanic scholarship. Oh, my God. Did that happen? Oh, that was messed God. up. Whitest girl in the school. Dude. Oh, my God. Who was it? Oh. <laughs> Grandfather was from Spain. Oh, so the loosest association to Hispanic, like, yeah. maybe Hispanic, yeah. but you're white as... Yeah. So regardless. she applied? Did she win? Yeah. She won. Yeah. The only one? She had to write an essay about what it was like to be Hispanic in high school. No way. You Please lying. bleep that out. Oh, hell no. That's staying in. <laughs> Content. <laughs> you know what you what? signed up for. <laughs> Kidding. That is insane. It's that is, it's I, can I submit a complaint? <laughs> right. Is that legal? That has to. Like, think about the person no who way. genuinely needed that scholarship. Oh, I'm sure she's rich too. Yeah, yeah. She definitely didn't need that. Look I like. wasn't saying I mean, she's it's poor. It's not about being rich or poor, though. That does play a factor, but it's like, come on. I am pissed. It's a moral, right moral thing. I won one scholarship when I was in college. My professor applied for me, and I won it. They took away my other scholarship. I got like 75 grand and they just took 75 grand away from my other ones. Like, what is even the point? Then they want me to write a letter to the person thanking them. Oh, thank you, billionaire. You're so gracious. How could I survive without you? No. They emailed me actually like 45 times to send in this letter and I would not, bro. Good for you. Shout out to you. If it was the other way around, would you want to read people's... Uh... Oh, hell <laughs> Tell me about how I changed yeah. your life. Video and everything. How, how you were in the trenches before me. <laughs> oh my god, yes, bro. What do you mean? That's funny. Like, should you always encourage your friends to get tattoos, even if you wouldn't get the tattoo yourself? If that was the case, I would have zero tattoos. Cause really, I do have I do. to say, as a friend, you have an obligation not to talk about any of your other friends' tattoos, mm. like. Honestly, intern, when uh, yeah. our friend sent that video of a tattoo that we thought was his at first of the gun, Ooh. it was like weird because it was like, this dude is not going to get a gun tattoo. Wait, I want to know who it but is. But you were straight up like, dude, that is ass. You should not have gotten that. And I was like, man, like this is going to be on him forever. And you immediately are like, that was oh. a mistake. You're a terrible person. Like, that is rough. <laughs> Can't do, it, it didn't even look right. It like, it's too it's like late. Exact, yeah, it's, it's already, too late. It's already on a person. Yeah. It was a friend, but we thought got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. That's not me. I was like, oh. It's like, thank God. That's that crazy. is hilarious. What did you guys say? I was like, was like wow. Oh, intern was like, yeah, I think I was just like, <laughs> that's cool. Cool. <laughs> nice. So <laughs> if we're on the topic of exposing people, there's this pool party, right? Yeah. Um, we had maybe one or two a semester, and there's this dude who was, uh, he was neurodivergent, but, mm. you know, we're all at this pool party having a good time, and I look over, and I just see him pop up with goggles on, <laughs> with the biggest grin on his face I'd ever seen, mm. and I was, like, about to, like, be like, dude, what the like, you cannot be wearing goggles at a pool party right now. But then he just kind of looked around, and I was like, I I'm just going to step away. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, what are the ethics of goggles at a pool party? Because, you know, the attire is the same as goggles at a normal pool. <laughs> so I don't think about that. I was like, <laughs> so really, like... Or I don't know what the ethics are there, and I wanted Shell's opinion. The Look, ethics? yeah, I was like, I don't see the problem. I feel like, <laughs> like he's he's just a fashionista, you know. He on he on something that no one else is on, you know. Yeah. 
Something good. I what? see it. I, I think so. What, what's the question here? Like, should you have said something to him, like, uniform-wise? Attire-wise for the pool party? More like, uh, in general, what it... I feel like probably no goggles, but at the end of the day, it's not like you're going to see anything you wouldn't see if you wore goggles at a regular pool. Oh, did you think he was wearing goggles because he was trying to see some cheeks or something? Oh! I mean... Oh! Wait, oh, so what? he's a genius. I didn't even pick up that's that. That's that was the whole that is crazy. Oh, oh okay, yeah, okay, okay. That's insane. Because yeah, they didn't get that, the, like the devious part. Like how devious was the smile. It's, so that's what. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. he was grinning ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's kind of that's, that's crazy. W- yeah. Were the people in the pool fully like? Wearing bathing suits, or was it like a top? I mean, I wasn't wearing goggles, so I can't tell you for sure. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but blurry. they got out mm. of the pool. Um, I, I, at this party, no, okay, yikes. I don't know, I ain't gonna lie. Me and Isaiah, we used to go to the water park down there when, when we were about 12, <sighs> had the goggles every day. Mm. Oh don't cancel God. me, don't cancel me. See, Here's my thing though, because it's like. Intern, do we say you can speak? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time you've talked. <laughs> <laughs> James is just in check uh, the intern. There you go. Let's go ahead, that. intern. Take that back. The thing is, it's an issue though, because it's like the only time, well, it's like when you're at those community swimming pools, you go under the water, you're wearing the goggles. You know, there's like people in your age group, and then there are those children. And so it's like. <laughs> That's a good turn. I didn't think it was about to go. I'm not. I'm not trying to see all of that. I did so not think that was where you were going with this. Yeah, we got to cut all this. <laughs> this Definitely all cut in. that. I think, I think you took that to a weird place. Yeah, Why well, said Whoa. intern? Did we say you could <laughs> so? If he had a point. If it's looking that, at kids underwater crazy. is too like potentially sexual that, for you, not what goggles? is the difference mm, at no. looking? At those kids above water, no, no, <laughs> is that also potentially no, sexual? Thing, no, the thing is, if you, it's a lose lose argument. No, this is the reason is why I'm you know, not wearing goggles. This is like this. Also kids <laughs> right. That is insane. What you lose, you just lose it. That's crazy. Yeah, it is a lose lose. So I'm not wearing goggles because I'm not trying to look under the. It's, but like, it's, it's can not, we just I'll can we acknowledge not, that goggles are also to protect your eyes? Right, like, that's what I'm saying. Oh and when you wear contacts, you don't want them that's to fall why out. Wore them like, at the water park. <laughs> I can't swim. But what if I, I want to open my eyes? Like. I like to see in water. That's cool. Yeah, I like to see underwater. I like I'll to see you. underwater because, like, when do I get to do that? Never. You could definitely open your eyes underwater. I open my and eyes and get chlorine in my turn, eyes. I'll tell you, it's the it's the reason that you don't wear goggles. He's like, I don't wear goggles because I don't want to see kids clearly underwater. The reasons behind it. Turn that's messed up. I think you. I, I don't. Even, I don't know. Don't even mention the kids. Like that's just. <laughs> 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 like, no, I know if the reason is is because I was at a community pool at one t- like at one time. <laughs> I don't know if this is helping your case. I'm gonna be honest You're with you, to a cry. <laughs> no, I'm saying I did do it. Like. Do I what? You I what? Went, what did you do? No, 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 I'm saying I didn't. Didn't do it. But what? it's like I went underwater at one point because I had goggles on at first, and I was like. It was, what was it? I was just, I was like, nah, I can't be. He was like, mm-hmm. nah, the kids are way too sexy here for this. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot be wearing these things. These things are dangerous. <laughs> Take these away from me. <laughs> That's insane. No wow. way. Oh my God. I really hope this is staying in. Holy. Our intern said, what? <laughs> oh my wow. God. Basically, I'm not wearing goggles. Interesting. I think that's a good call for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. No, keep, no, keep no, keeping goggles away for you for sure. Wait, I'm proud of you. Is this like he an did. HR issue? Do we need to fire the intern? But I see where your story was going now. It all makes sense. He had the big grin. Ethically, I are you saying the newer divergent? I say let him do him. Damn. And old enough that like if somebody saw him and got uncomfortable, they'll stop him. Here's the thing I didn't know until later. He is 27 oh. okay wow so so this just adds uh, another layer to it huh so he, he's a 27 year old going to uh <laughs> did he go to this an school? averagely aged college swim party kind of weird yeah stop him i don't i feel like that's his super bowl you know <laughs> this what? is his moment to shine Wait, what? 
Huh? Yeah. This is the moment he's been waiting for all year. Uh, he's talking about I just let him rock, bro. <laughs> How many other times is he going to get an opportunity like this? I say fair treatment for all. My brother. How many pools are she said <laughs> she said my brother how many pools are there in the world that he could go visit Wait, you don't know how many pool parties he gets invited to okay but like the ymca the... i ain't gonna get into it there... those are grannies bro <laughs> let him cook he just complimented jane fonda for being like sexy I mean, at 90 that's me, years though. That's it's me, a though. pool full of jane fonda's yeah, yeah, I mean, well, that's a different story. i ain't stopping nobody <laughs> oh my god okay we have to i love you wearing goggles <laughs> i can't get over this guy oh that is crazy okay. yeah All right. so just let him All do right. him 27 is that the final verdict if we were a jury, I feel like. Wait, it. I thought we were against it. We were like, I'm for it. I was against it, but there's probably worse. Like, there's probably somebody's dad at some party that I don't know doing yeah, some yeah. weird stuff. So, I mean, he's 27. He basically just graduated like five years ago. You guys, <laughs> never mind. He just stuck in the past. He just wanted to see it one more time. <laughs> there's this w another. Okay, so I didn't go to many parties, and every single one I went to was terrible. All right, so you throw your own. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There, and so mm -hmm. this dude went to a different school. He comes to this graduation party, like comedically fast, starts sexually assaulting every single, like grabbing and hugging and like whispering in their ear, like when their boyfriend is standing right there. And like I go up to this dude, he's like, I'm like, uh, yo, I'm going to do your favor, man. I'm going to just go ahead and point out to you every girl in the room that has a boyfriend or a girlfriend already. So you don't, you can avoid all of them hmm. and just focus your elf efforts elsewhere. He's like, good call, dude. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm like, you see that one? Yeah. She, she's got a partner. You see that one? She, she's got a partner. You know what? Every, all of these girls here, they all got partners. Um, you know, outside, I think they do too, but I'm not sure who else, you know, Damn. and he just, he looks over at me and he just is like, <laughs> <laughs> no way. I was speechless. <laughs> oh, was not the example though. Why did I? Wait, wait. <laughs> James, why are you drooling a little bit? Oh, hold on. I just yeah, I didn't know what to do at that point. So, wait, so like he just like straight. Yeah, he straight up grabbed my inner thigh. Look yeah. at your eyes. Uh huh. Oh. So what did what happened after you that? I was you? like, mm. <laughs> 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 and then stood up and left. Yeah. Wow, I can see why you said like you didn't have a good time at those parties. No, they were bad. They were all bad. If you go to a party where a pool is there. Are you too cool to get in the pool? No, you got to get in the pool, dude. Cannonball. Is it going to be like... I've never if you don't get in the pool. pool at a pool party... Well, what if like 75% of the people are out of the pool? I'm. It's not a pool party, but there's a pool there. Then I'm Who not getting Who cares the about them? I'm getting in the pool. That's, like, that's black parties. <laughs> like, they'll be just around the pool and no one's in the pool. <laughs> Why? Because they can't swim? Right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that's bad. <laughs> that's why our intern's getting fired. <laughs> That's crazy. James said it. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> he gets a pass. He's, he's a host. Yeah. Diplomatic immunity. Once you host an episode, maybe. Maybe we'll give you a shot. I, I had a guy ask me out once. I felt really bad. I didn't know how to respond. I felt like, because I, kn I knew he worked up like a lot of courage to ask me out. And then I'm just like, I have a, a girlfriend. I'm sorry. I'm, I was at work, too. So when he came up to me, I started giving him, like, the normal response that I say to everyone, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, it was awkward. Shout out to dude. Okay, James, your turn. I've never been hit on. I don't get hit on. I'm Damn. Damn. I got you, James. <laughs> don't even worry. Wait, don't you yeah. get hit on our by our friends, like, every day? Yeah. Let's see. And this one. I plead the fifth. <laughs> oh. What about that car conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I told you that in comment. <laughs> I want to ask you guys. I assume we all have deja vu, but like, what does it feel like when you experience deja vu? Because the way my deja vu works is like, I'll just be living my life and I'll say something or do something, and it's like, it's like 
you're watching like one of those old films and like the scenes are passing by and then like it's it's like it clicks in does that make sense like it it doesn't make sense but it does make sense for me like i'm like i'm looking at a strip of film and it just for some reason a moment Mm. in my life just like clicks into the film (laughs) no i i get you like, Riley going, sure. right. <laughs> what'd you say sorry Riley? no yeah keep, keep, about how the film clicks it, in okay that, I, I, feel I don't know how you. to explain it better yeah but what does deja vu feel like for you you just are like oh this you know might have happened it before. kind of feels like like i can i immediately feel like this has happened before but then it kind of gets weird but it does feel like it lines up with something yeah. like another like, like another I'm timeline li- lining up with another timeline yeah. or something maybe that's it yeah, clicks like the same moment happens even though there's something weird and different weird. about the other timeline yeah exactly i tried i tried to like predict what's about to happen next because i'm like wait if this has happened before then someone should come through that door right now it, but some it typically doesn't yeah. work that way when I try to change the history or whatever, but yeah, I, it, I see what you mean. It does kind of click, but if I was able to predict like somebody walking through right now, you <laughs> tried it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's a, a different power, mm-hmm. but I was wondering if like deja vu is just us evolving to have superpowers. Hmm. Like, which is a great uh, transition. Oh what superpowers y'all want to have? No, no, no. We're no, not I done. hate this we're question. Not done. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> I, for me, I always feel like something happens and it's like a dream that I've explained to someone before. And I'm like, this happened and I don't know why, but then this happened, but then it happens, bro. Like mm. two years later. I swear. Wait, you dream about things? Oh, yeah, a thousand Ooh, percent. Ooh, interesting. I get deja vu in my dreams more often than I get it like when I'm awake. For me, it's only dream deja vu. What's that like? Okay, so you dream. Okay, is it like you realize that you dreamt that before, or you dream something after the fact that it's happened, and that's the deja vu? So I swear, it's like I dream something really crazy. I tell someone, and then like two years later, that same thing happens. But I don't have like the evidence to say that I talked like about this in two real years life. Ago. It happened. Yeah, what yeah, you yeah. So it's like a future. Like yeah. this is something you're gonna say in the future. Do you future. have an okay. example? I can't think about it. He just well, gave I'm us convinced. an example. Well, spoilers, man. <laughs> James, you What's wanted that? to, you had a topic for us. Nah, mm-hmm. but, nah. So I've gone through. All oh, bet, 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 bet. So, anyways, I was a, uh, I was driving the other day, <laughs> and I got to a railroad crossing, right? Mm. And the railroad thing starts to come down, and there's just a dude outside with his, outside of his truck, and he's just telling me, "Come on through," right? And so after a second, I drive through and I made it, thankfully. But after I went through, I'm thinking, what if this was just a random guy? <laughs> right? It was. What if I just got... Why did you cross? Like, come on. Come mm-hmm. on. Because I thought, like, maybe he's working on the thing and, like, he sent it down. Mm-hmm. But what if he was just lying? <clears throat> he would have got you. Why wouldn't if he... Why didn't he just go? You know, maybe I need, to, my, uh, I need to scoffed. rethink my decision-making sure processes. I'm sure he was with the railroad. Like You hope so. I, I hope, hope for so. your sake, yeah. I mean, you're fine, but yeah, that's... If he seemed like he, know, he knew what he was doing, then it's like, okay. <laughs> he really could have just... I would have yeah. fell for it. I'm, I'm the rabbit, whatever. You would have felt... That would have been just like you to have fallen for oh, that. Damn. Oh my god, okay. Damn. <laughs> You intern know. sleeping. Intern Comedy's is sleeping. about punching down. Intern <laughs> sleeping on the job. Yeah, you I know. know. He put his head down too. Like he was like, oh, "That's crazy." We got our annual report soon. Don't worry. We'll. Okay. If you want to be the intern for this podcast, let us know. You just we... have to best this intern in physical combat. It's not very hard. In a previous podcast, y'all uh, said that I would be your first pick for survival in like a zombie apocalypse. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I just want to say I'm honored. Uh-oh. Um, I don't think I'd be much help at all. No. Yeah, well, but well, it's nice to know you put me in a leadership position. I, mm. feel, I feel like if it was a situation, right, Apocalypse, where like, dang, we got to save Gus, the all-knowing. <laughs> or we got to save... <laughs> the wise. And this is just an example. <laughs> got to save James. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like we Completely know... Completely hypothetical. Right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we know exactly who needs oh, to get saved God. at the moment. Damn. No, I'm saying, 
I, I'll save you too, guys. I'm I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll so be- if all of us are in a room and zombie apocalypse is happening and you can only grab one friend, you're grabbing Gus. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, how okay. is intern trying to help me? Damn. How is <laughs> Cameron trying to help me? Can, what? He do, he do computer science. Oh. What? what do he know? True. How is James trying to help me? Yeah. His major is fake. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what your major is. Economics. What are you going to do? <laughs> Vlog it or something? <laughs> Gus, Gus is my savior. I ain't gonna lie. You know, sure. It's so funny. Uh, Sullivan will send me like a picture of a snake and be like, friend or poisonous? That was me. <laughs> oh, uh, you do that too. Yeah. And it's always friend. Like, y'all be scared. I don't know if mine much. was friendly. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Who? The one in the lake. Which one was that? Oh no, that was that was bad. I gave you bad advice. You should not have gone back in the lake. Maybe I don't pick you. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't. Was yeah, it a water? It was moccasin? a water moccasin. Yikes! It was hunting me. I swear to God, it probably that was, was the scariest moment of my life. So you have bit, you ever we'll got happen. bitten? You'd have to go to a hospital. Anything poisonous? I don't think so. I've like seen some bumps and wonder if like that was a spider bump, but I don't think so. I've gotten bitten by a brown recluse. Did I tell you guys? Oh that? wow! What? How? Is that the spider or something? Bro, yeah. it was crazy. So I was getting ready for school. How old are you? I was like six, seventeen, sixteen. Yeah, and I got out of the shower and I put the towel on. I felt this like pinch at the back of my neck, and it, like my house has had spider problems before, so I like knew it, it's fine now. But like when I was younger, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so we kind of just knew that they were there and whatever, and so. I was like, and I screamed, mom, like I got bit by a spider. Like, and we had, to, so we killed this. That thing was big too. It was like this big, a big brown recluse. That was not as and big I was as like, I thought you were about to. I was like, this right. is the day I meet my maker. Like, Or become Miles Morales. Yeah, for or real. Or I guess Peter Parker. Or Gwen. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, the girl. I don't know her name though. Gwen. Gwen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But anyway, so I... You know, get dressed the best as I can. But I'm, like, trying not to move, you know? Like, I don't want the venom to spread. Mm. So we get in the car. My mom is, like, pushing 100 going to the hospital. Wow. Get to the emergency room. I'm in full tears. Like, I'm crying. I'm telling him, <laughs> I'm about to die. Like, I got bit by this spider. You need to cure me. Like, what is the, what's the antidote? Please give me the antidote. Like, I'm, I'm going to die here. And the, she did not give a fuck. Oh, my God. She was, like, oh, yeah, just the go doctor sit down. and your mom. The this nurse, is insane. No, the nurse was like, okay, just go sit down. Are you sure it was a brown? Yes! I have the spider. Like, I carried it. We have it here. And yeah, it was crazy. And so they finally got me back there. They were monitoring me, put the little IV in me, and she stabbed me a couple times. Like, this was a really experience. And so, yeah. So, what? in the hospital for hours. No issues. They're just like, you know, what's going to happen is it's not in your bloodstream, which is good. But, like, the venom is going to kill your neck muscles. Like, in the back. It's going to, like, fuck up your muscles. Mm. And so you're probably not going to be able to hold your head up for, like, a week. So, like, for <laughs> a, a solid week, my muscles were just dying. And I was just sitting in a chair, like, looking at a TV, waiting for the spider venom to dissipate. That is insane. Yeah. It's wild. It was it sucked so <laughs> but i'm good now you know got the spidey senses how do you go back into your house after that it, I, what was the next shower like for you? i'm you shaking every towel, every towel yep. checking every like i come home after <laughs> extended vacation all the sheets are getting pulled back Still? like oh yeah come on a week without holding your head up like you don't even know how that affects okay. your daily life they actually said even that the, knew. <laughs> <laughs> They actually said that the bigger spiders are less venomous because they're old. So like, it's the tiny ones that you need to be scared of. Wow. Isn't that interesting? That's scary. Yeah, but we're all good now, you know. Yeah, now we can laugh at it, right? Hey. That's the South for you. I'm proud of James. He got that one comment in. I yes, did. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. No, that's y'all take time. I'm going to dab you up for that, y'all. <laughs> oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> y'all get y'all take time for the day. I know you're going to make that one the clip. <laughs> oh, I was saying, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, yo, now you see why I'm always a thumb down. <laughs> you making the you making the TikTok? What you mean? Apparently, oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I did say that. Yeah. I've never been bitten by something poisonous, but I used to play this game. Um, my neighbor had a feral German Shepherd that they adopted. 
it was like six to nine months old and uh we would play a game where you'd hold a stick and take off running and the other one would be holding the german shepherd and then let him go and the dog comes and he tries to bite you and it you have to turn and put the stick in its mouth so it bites the stick instead mm -hmm. wow um, so yeah it, Needless to say, I got bit quite a few times. That is but. crazy. Man. I got scars too from dog bites. I used to make my dog bite me. What? In, in the sense that, like, where kids are annoying to dogs and dogs oh. snap. Yeah. Where, like, but, like, I knew like, I could take a bite. You know, it just made me right. Think, right? And so I just got a whole bunch of bites. And so whenever I play with dogs now, I always, like, kind of make them bite me. I feel like one of the craziest reali realizations <laughs> in life is when you go to the emergency room and you realize they do not treat you like an emergency. Oh, yeah. You'll wait for hours. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. I, I went when I was a kid. I had a hole in my face, bro. Huh? That's why, that's why I have the scar. Oh. Wow. I sat in there for three hours before anyone talked to me. That's crazy. That's it's insane. crazy. Yeah. When I was a kid, I broke my arm, my wrist. And that shit was just broken. And I'm in the emergency room with all these old men who probably waiting for, them, I don't know, their kidney to be removed or something. <laughs> and they're like, they're going to have to remove it. And I'm like crying because I'm like, no, I don't want them to remove my fractured wrist. <laughs> they amputate you? Yeah, they're getting in my head. There's that. But That's <clears throat> so mean. I want to say, I never got bit. It was mean. I never got bit either. <clears throat> but I remember I was playing CSGO one day, right? <laughs> on the computer. I'm like, oh my God, my legs itch. I'm like, scratching, scratching. I'm like, wait, why do both of my legs itch? I'm like, what the heck? This is like abnormal. I roll up both like my pajama pants legs and I got these red dots everywhere all Aww. on my legs and I didn't just get bit by anything. I mean, it's everywhere and um, it, it's really bad. I tell my dad when but the next day I go to like the clinic and like my legs are super red, still kind of itchy, like internally itchy, like scratching it didn't help. And they were like, um, well, we don't know what's happening to you, but if it's continuing like after two days, let's give you a steroid shot. And after like two days, it like went away. But like, like, um, timeline wise, that was like four or five day experience where my legs were red to this day. I have no idea why, but yeah, they're super itchy. That is so strange. That yeah. Is crazy. Right. <clears throat> That's I don't know so if it was weird. allergic reaction or what. I was really just playing games and it happened. No bug bites or nothing. You'll, so you'll weird. never forget the, the first time you see a big spider in your bed. I remember here. Mm. Here? In your bed? Yeah. Like in this oh, bed? Yeah, like, it was like a couple months ago. Ooh. Wow. How big spider? <laughs> Huge. <laughs> nah, he's lying, bro. There's a story I told Cam today. Uh, okay. I was at Chick fil A, right? And it was like 7 a.m. I worked the midnight shift at FedEx. Shout out FedEx. And uh, I did the sunrise shift too. So I worked two shifts. So I got off at like 8 o'clock. And so I was like, I don't want to get Waffle House. But I was like, I'm kind of tired of Waffle House. So I got Chick fil A. And when I went to Chick fil A, the lady pulls up. She's like two years, so like three years younger than me. And she's like, you look like somebody I know. I'm like, okay. Uh -oh. And so I'm thinking one of those, right? But she's like, no, nah, rapper. I'm like, okay, which rapper? And then uh, she's like, ah, the one. I just recently listened to him recently. Uh, 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 he made Ransom. I was like, I know them. A talking about Lil Tecca. <laughs> yeah, I said Lil Tecca. She said, oh, yeah. I'm like, that's crazy. She saw a new with glasses <laughs> right here. Do I look like him? Wait, I don't even I'll pull it up. I'll oh, it up. you're doing a fake photo. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. Cut her off. <laughs> but that's funny that you mentioned that because me and James were at Chick fil A last weekend and we're going through the line. He asked us what we want. No, no courtesy. No, nothing like that. James <laughs> has a cake in, on his lap. He's like, Oh, you guys going to a party tonight? We're like, Yeah, some, some small, you know. He goes, Oh, yeah. Well, tonight I'm going out. We having a party after this. I'm going to pop bottles and fuck models. The dude in the Chick fil A line. That? Yes. I'm like, aren't you supposed to say my pleasure? Yeah. I wasn't really expecting weird. this. Why did he flex on us like he that? <laughs> he said, Oh, my party's way cooler than your party, just so you know. What the There's heck? It's not going to be cake at my party. <laughs> right. He said, With models. What? He said a different kind of cake for real. He didn't even give us an invite. Like, would you have gone? You know you wouldn't have. These are Chick-fil-A money bottles. We're talking like 
the cheapest stuff on the shelf. But the mixer is a Chick-fil-A lemonade, so I believe it. He could get models with that. <laughs> Intern, what would you want your superpower to be in? Don't say invisibility. Probably Don't say seeing underwater. underwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad track right here. Seeing underwater x-ray, that's <laughs> off the table. What is that? I really want to be Spider-Man. Like, you you already understand. are. Mm. Just, what? I mean, Spider-Man like, would be spider, really cool. Spider powers, like, because I can utilize that to the fullest like I'm using <laughs> what? Think of his prey. <laughs> oh insane. my god! I would just swing, like swinging, use the physics and stuff. I could really see myself <laughs> splats. Well, I hope it happens for you. You cannot get it from a brown recluse, though. Just I don't know. That, right? Do you just, Bruh, It would have been an amazing price to pay, but nothing like that happened. Maybe that's why my deja vu is like that. You wouldn't know because you got the antidote. <laughs> Duh. They didn't give me shit. They just gave me an IV. Like they gave me happened. no medicine besides aspirin. <laughs> Duh, crazy. Whatever. Thank y'all for joining in and tuning in. As always, uh, our, we can find us on any of our social media platforms. Um, link below. Thank you to our two special guests for coming on. Y'all are welcome anytime. Would y'all like to plug anything before we go? Um. Yeah. I mean. The few people are watching this probably already oh, see. Damn. <laughs> damn. We get that a lot. <laughs> Check crazy. out Botanical Instrumentations album by Chicken Machine Yo. on music streaming platform. Actually, I did one my Actually, videos. we got 200 views on our last episode. <laughs> oh, do you watch, do you track how long they watched in the episode? About five minutes. Five <laughs> minutes average. Subscribe because if you like hearing people just talking and being friends, then you're gonna like this podcast. To everyone who subscribes, James is giving you twenty dollars. The first fifty people who like and subscribe gets fifty dollars from this guy. But what if I already <laughs> liked and subscribed? You should do it on this episode. Oh, you have to do it every episode? No, just this For episode. New fans only. Why are we inquiring? Like I'm actually gonna give y'all fifty dollars? Hold on, let's talk. Let's, you are. Let's go backwards. Hold on. Hold well, on. I know like where you live, I so it's unemployed. easier for me to like. <laughs> yeah, if you want to know where James lives, just DM we'll me. We'll drop it right here. Uh, just subscribe to our Patreon, and you'll be able to see that. If you, Cash App Dollar Sign send me fifty, I will give you his address. I promise you. You do it for free. Well. Besides all that, thanks you for said, having us, guys. This was fun. Yeah, thanks for coming. It was yeah, very fun. It was um, really nice. Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all of our platforms. So, ring that bell. And uh, Actually, yeah, ring don't. the bell. See you guys next time. Peace. Not before. This is good. <laughs> Everybody, we, we're doing the thumbnail right now. <laughs> Wait, I mean. Wow. <laughs>